All right, guys. Uh, this is uh, about the catch can on Audi's DFSI. But just to explain the details, I'm gonna remove this cover off of it and put it on the side here. You all can see. So I have a catch can here, just temporary mounted. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about and kind of understand better. But this is just temporary. I'm gonna remove it because um, I'm not planning to put the catch can on this car. It's just it's not it's not making sense. But it's uh, um, actually sometimes can cause more damage to this engine rather than uh, help. So. Or if you do the catch can install, you will have to put the catch can in between these two, I believe. Um, this would go in a catch can and then the other side would go out. So, And then over here on the turbo side, this little hose here, the tube that goes from case down into the turbo. You can see where it's connect at. So most of the times you would install the catch can, uh, it would come from here would go into the catch can then I would come out from the catch can and connect down into the turbo. If I decide to install these catch cans I probably would be installing two of them. Connecting them one on each side of this location and mounting them on a cold side of the engine. In some cases you will see what they do is uh, they remove this hose, the breather hose and they would cap this off and cap that off. Capping this off um, that's okay because we'll still pull from the turbo in that's not a problem to go in there but capping this off it's a bad idea to be able to breathe where is the pressure gonna go somewhere to go through here because when turbo boost uh, will it basically sucks his air vacuums the air out of this into the turbo goes around and around and comes out into the intake and burns us in there whatever comes through. If I ever install the catch can, I would never remove this hose and block it. Uh, this hose is here for a reason and I believe they need to stay there, remain, and then a uh, crankcase need to ventilate somewhere. So blocking this, honestly, I think it's a not good idea to do. But still, if somebody sells you the uh, catch can, some of them will show the instruction on certain cars, some of them won't. But uh, from my experience, if you block this, you're going to have a lot of pressure. So you have some chance to blow your seal, especially your main seal. So if I am doing it, um, I would actually make sure that the crankcase can breed properly. And then swapping the hoses from the catch can, if you notice that this catch can nipples are 3 quarter inch. See how big they are? That's more than enough for this engine to breathe because this hose over here that comes out of this is three quarter inch. If you install a catch can, I would prefer not to downsize. So it's very important that you maintain same sizes on this breathing hoses and tubes, whatever you want to call them. That way the crankcase can breathe properly. If it does not breathe, it's gonna blow somewhere either a seal or gasket or something, it will get blow out and uh, it's not going to take that long. You're going to notice the oil leaks, uh, the boost problem and stuff like that. So here is uh, a catch can, that uh, just a simple catch can. I didn't buy nothing expensive because pretty much they do all the same. So they have uh, some additional options on them uh, if you wanted to pick and pay more and more for it. Um, but I just picked the one simple of the uh, Amazon. And then the reason being is I picked uh, this one as because uh, the uh, input and output the uh, three quarter inch, which not many of them out there on eBay and Amazon. You can just simply find the um, the certain size that you want. Most of them are three eighths. I would never go with three eighths. So if you see right here in the picture, I have a zero point seven five. So that's inlet and outlet on this catch can. The size is very important actually. So it's a couple of different ways to do this but uh, really in a real world it's uh, only two ways to do it, the right way and wrong way. 
So the size on this particular core, the Audi is right over here. There is a the turbo. This hose is a three quarter inch diameter. This one is five eighths. So if you be touching these two hoses, this size is meant to work for this core. If it's anything, you probably would want to go bigger diameter rather than smaller. Anyway, now location for the catch can right here, it really is not good location. Because you're so close now to the exhaust, this exhaust gets very hot. So it actually seems you won't have enough time to convert to liquid. So you better be off putting them here. See what I have this one. Um, this is perfect location. That's a cool side. And that's all I have to share with you guys about this diameters and sizes on this video. I don't think I need to explain how to connect the hoses. I'm pretty sure most of you already know how to do that. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.